What's up everybody? Viper here, back in Miss Survival. And today I'm going to go ahead and start a new playthrough. Hopefully this time my audio will be uh, a little bit better and uh, you'll actually be able to hear the actual video instead of uh, before where the, the voice was so, so low. I've been working on my audio and hopefully I'm getting it dialed in. So let's get started. Alright, here we go, new game. Three years ago, a mysterious thing happened. A mysterious mist covered the par many parts of the world. Most people got sick and died. Many of those who survived suffered changes. They became ferocious, turning vicious when touched by the fog. You are one of the very few humans who is immune to the mist. You survived in a camp with others, for it was attacked by creatures unlike any of you had seen before. All right, here we got the basic uh, how-to tutorial stuff, blah, blah, blah. All right, I hear chickens, so I know almost where I am. But when you start out, you're going to get a, almost always a saw and a bag. Pick up the bag and take the stuff. I wish I could destroy this now and get the stuff from it, but I can't. So when you first start out, you kind of want to figure out where you are and um, try to find the road and I know the road is uh, back up this way the main highway so I'm gonna head that way eventually I'm gonna come back here and get a lot more uh, stuff Right now, I'm looking for any kind of worthwhile loot. I need to get my gas can. But I'm definitely looking for all these backpacks. Uh, pick up some food. This is not a bad startup shelter. Uh, because the, the infected can't get in these windows, so you're safe inside. You can destroy these uh, wheelbarrows and get uh, uh, clay and some scrap and stuff. I'm going to pick those up, but I'm probably going to dump them somewhere. Probably the first truck or something I see. But when I first start out, I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for some type of weapon. Uh, like an axe, knife, um... Basically anything to start off with. I'm not really too much too concerned with firearms real early on. Uh, just because it's so hard to find bullets. But I do want to kill a bear as soon as I can and make a drying rack. So I can start working on a bow because it takes several days for those uh, guts to dry. And that, that first little village right there is a bandit camp. And I want to avoid that until I... At least have a knife to kill him. But I probably won't even bother with him for quite a while. But if you skirt the road, you can usually avoid that whole, that group. There's a group of three in fe uh, bandits that sits there. So I think there's a knife here. Yep. And anything else in here? Oh, the locker. I'm basically just going to take this out to the road. And then uh, when I get a truck, I can just come back and collect it. Let's see, I don't... I can stack the matches. I don't need a saw right now. I don't need the ammo. I'll keep this. Put my knife down here. I don't need all this food. Actually, I really don't need any of this food. It's right here on the road, so I can easily find it. And check to see if there's anything else around that I really need. When you're first starting out, you don't really need to... You know, be too thorough on your... Uh, 
collecting stuff. Um, you want you want to collect as much as you can, but there's not you don't have a whole lot of room to hold stuff, so. Nice scrap and batteries I'll need a later. I'm looking for car parts. Uh, car parts would be great right now. I see a red truck over there at the White House. And I'm definitely going to need that. But I need to go get the... Uh, I need the axe. So I'm at the White House and there's a military camp there. And there's the bandit camps back over to my straight in front of me along the road. But there's a little... Uh, um, little camp shelter or something over here. A camper, and behind it is an axe. So that's where I'm going to get the axe from. And I'm also going to get a bag from, uh, there's a spawn point right over here as well. I'm right behind the bandit camp right now. Now, we'll pick up stuff on the ground just because, uh, it's easier if I just put it back in like uh, on the road where I can easily find it. I mean, even if I drop it on the road, as long as, it, as, long as it's easy. Uh, some of these uh, campers do have stuff on top of them, so it's good to check it. And then behind it should be a wood thing with an axe. All right, now I got an axe and a knife. Now I'm going to find a, um, a big large stick so I can make a couple spears. This house probably has infected in it. And usually you can hear them if you get up close to it. So I don't want to go in that house right now. I need to go get that, uh, fuel can out of the back of the uh, bus so I could start collecting fuel so eventually I could take it over to that truck and uh, start putting fuel in it. The truck is a good vehicle to have overall just because you could put uh, lockers and all kinds of stuff behind it or in the back of it. I'm just going to grab that. So it's it's great to have. Now, on the back of these trucks, there's there's usually a lot of different crates, so just check them. Check the back of these these, these army trucks, because a lot of times they have a crate. Alright, I've killed my stamina. More gas. Alright, here's this gas can. What did I pick up? That's weird. It gave me three gas cans. I don't need all these gas cans right now. So I'm just going to dump them. Oh, antibiotics. I don't probably won't need that. But I'll put it in one of these boxes I'm going to collect here in a minute. Now the gas can to get gas out of the vehicles. You put it in there and you hit fill can. And that'll fill it up. You take it back, put it in your inventory. I can't pick up this wooden plank. What's going on with this? Alright, up here, there's an M4. Every playthrough I've seen, it has this M4 right there. I'm not even going to bother to collect it now because I don't need it. There's a tire. I definitely need a tire. I'm probably going to go back to the spawn area where I spawned in at. Because there's two or three tires back that way too. But I'm just going to go ahead and get it. I wanted to get that axe and that knife out of the way. And there's all these, these little boxes and there's another knife. So I'm just going to shove the stuff 
that I don't really need inside this box. At least for now. Uh, water's still good. And then I'm just gonna shove it, shove it down there. The water bottle's always up here. There should be hopefully an engine and a spark plug up here. I don't know why I'm picking up like three things. This is unusual. But whatever, I'll take it. My last playthrough, my loot was like horribly bugged or something, so I'm not going to really mind um, me getting anything extra. That was a, a uh, gear on the ground, which is definitely useful. Feathers are also a nice find. I'll end up killing a bunch of chickens. Electronics part, a can of food. I keep getting uh, groups of three stuff. That was really weird. All right, there's lockers in here. So I'm basically just going to shove stuff in there. And then you just take the uh, the lockers back out to the start or wherever you want to keep them, where they're easily accessible. That way you can get them later if I can not run into stuff. I'm probably going to burn up a lot of, a lot of my food and water just by all the running around I'm doing. Planks. But my priorities really are finding a vehicle, getting my, uh, oh, look at that, grenade, more ammo. I'll kind of fill that one up before I take it back. Make sure there's no tires laying around here. But my priorities are, are getting a truck, getting the stuff for a bow made, or at least started as soon as possible, because it takes a while for the bow to, for you to be able to make the bow. And I have an axe now, so I can kill a bear rather easily. And if a bear is actually, like, chasing you, it, you can easily outrun them, and then just dodging around trees and stuff and the bears are nothing really to worry about too much I mean they're they're bad if they scare you you know like just you're not expecting them but they're not really hard at all so I'm just looking for just basic stuff on the ground it should be a bat yep MREs, good food, another, all kinds of stuff. I can equip this uh, gloves just by right-clicking it. And I'll probably uh, off-camera go through and uh, organize this stuff because that's really boring. So I don't, it's not really, there's no sense for y'all to watch all that. I'm just kind of moving these uh these crates and stuff, and I'll move them here in a sec. I just want to get most of this loot up. Just looking for tires. Kind of doing a quick, quick, quick little run through. I'll probably have missed a tire or something somewhere. But over in that tent, right there, should be a uh, engine. I just check this area right here real quick. 
And there's usually a spark plug on one of the things, but it, since I got the axe, I can I can chop up vehicles. Uh, let's see where those vehicles are. There's the engine. Oh, that was nice. It gave me three engines. Crappy engines, but that gave me three. I'm not sure what this glitch is, but I will take it. And be happy with it. A battery. Another gas can. More gas cans. I guess I don't have to make a whole lot of gas cans this playthrough. And gas will respawn like every 30 days, so you're not like... I never run out of gas. If you're running out of gas, you're probably using your generator 24-7 and you don't really need to. There's no real reason to. The refrigerators aren't working unless they've changed something that I don't know. Um, so, ah, there's a spark plug. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn you, inventory space. All these gas cans have crap in them. Um, hmm. cloth. God, please let me be able to get this. No. Ah. Uh, watch your inventory space or, or face the consequences like I just did. Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to, uh, hit some uh hit some stuff I don't understand why all these gas cans are popping up and shotgun rounds three three rounds of rifle ammo I might actually pick up that M4 The, uh, the loot gods are, like, in my favor this game. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let me make sure there are no tires over here. I think I've only found one in here so far. Doop, doop. Keep one engine. All right, move. I think I'm going to use my base as the, uh, the hotel this time. I normally use the White House, especially for all of its nice storage options. And that uh, water tower. If I'm having problems sleeping early on, I'll probably will have to go and uh, sleep in there in the beginning, but. We'll see how the night goes. But as long as you find somewhere safe at night, you don't have to worry about the mist. Just don't be out running around because uh, these these the night infected come out in droves and uh, yeah they'll they'll get you pretty quick, especially early on. All right, so we got an engine. We need a battery, three more tires, and now a spark plug, since I lost my spark plug. Alright. Let's go down and check the White House. See what that truck has in it. And then, I'm going to go find those other tires and the battery. And see if we can't get our car on our first day. Majority of the stuff around this White House you can destroy. But there's a lot of storage spots around here. Alright. Nothing. It 
if you want to make this base you can uh, hit E on this click it and then uh, make this your active base um, I probably will just just to do it for now I'm probably not gonna sleep in the house but there's all these these storage lockers um, nails I might need that let's go ahead and eat this but there's all these storage lockers first off and it's they're nice to have yeah. but you can drop stuff on the ground it's not it's not any issue it's not going to despawn it's just going to clutter everything up so feel free to just dump stuff wherever you see it a hammer ammo And then upstairs, there's three rooms. Ah, oh, sewing kits. I'll come back for those. Ooh, more sewing kits. Put you away. I'm trying to remember what exact. Oh, more sewing kits. Alright, there's another little cabinet here. It's empty. And that's it for the White House. But if you're inside this, any one of these rooms at night, you can close the door and you're completely safe. Now, if you're in here, the zombies can get through these, uh, or infected can get through these windows until you uh, board them up with uh, fences. So normally, I'll sleep up here until I get a base going because I could sleep most of the night up there. Alright, we're going back for... Uh, Try to find some more tires. We'll end up uh, probably breaking a few cars to get a uh, to get a spark plug and maybe a battery if we need it. All right, I'm gonna build a uh, spear just so I can kill this. Uh, bear. Alright, that's pretty easy on how to make a spear. You just go over here to this uh, two swords and make a spear and it takes 20 minutes. You could throw the spears or you can uh, uh, just hit people with them. If you look down, you'll hit faster. It just burns up more stamina. All right, so we just broke the car. Um, a bunch of scrap and uh, components. I'll probably end up just dropping this stuff on the ground. I'm going to need quite a bit of it for uh, to smell down so I can make a, a pickaxe so I can get a, a sledgehammer eventually. Because the axe... It's already down to 82%. So it's not great for uh, trashing these cars. Nice battery. How much my inventory? Floating rock. Do I need a hammer right now? I don't think so. Drying rack. I need a knife for that. Uh, what do I need? Two uh, lashings and sticks. I'll get the lashings from uh, breaking the, uh, the little shelters. And that's really the biggest thing I need right now is uh, 
the drying rack to start off with. What else can I dump in here? I'll dump these screws. And I'm just going to put this here because I know that I got to get the truck back here, so I got to come back here. So hopefully I'll remember that that stuff's in there. Alright, now we're going to go down to the motel. I got to get past these uh, bandits again. So I'm going to skewer it over here. There was one bandit across the road. Oh, but it looks like there's three there, so I guess he came back or whatever, but he's good. I should be safe. But now coming over here, I got to watch for this bear. Once you pass this uh, bandit camp and you start seeing this hotel, or motel, whatever you want to call it, the bear is around here somewhere. He could be anywhere around the hotel. He could be behind it, in front of it, over on the right side. So you just want to be careful when you're coming around there. Just make sure you have enough stamina so you can get on top of the bus or the big truck. And then you can easily kill the bandit. Or not the bandit, but the bear. The new car with the uh, little booklet that I'll, I'll mess with later. Too concerned about it right now. Get on this truck. And the tire, nice. So I need two more tires. And a... Uh, a spark plug. Where is Mr. Bear at? There he is. Come here, Bear. Alright, so you see you just get on top of a vehicle. And you just poke him until he dies. Keep poking him. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, the only thing I want to get from him is these uh, animal guts right now. Because that's going to burn 40 minutes. If I try to take meat or fat or anything else, it's going to burn a lot of time. And I just, I don't have enough time right now. tire that's three tires there's a workbench right here I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna need to upgrade it so I can make a, uh, a long bow I don't even bother messing with this basic bow just because it only takes an extra couple of sticks to make the long bow but you have to upgrade this uh, the workshop and you can also store stuff in there Go ahead and put that in there because I'm going to need it. Uh, spark plug, spark plug. Just getting the stuff off the ground and I'm just going to put it away in something. tomatoes there is quite a bit of food you find when you're looting stuff so you don't have to be too concerned with uh, using the uh, food from the bear or whatever like that for early on eventually the food will uh, deteriorate and you'll have to start getting uh, salt and then uh, killing bears and deer and chickens. 
pick it up, please. And it's weird, these sodas, the red ones will uh, expire, but the the green ones, the ginger ales or whatever they are, they won't. Not sure what it is with that, but whatever. There should be a box. Oh, there's no box here. Tape, batteries, other sewing kits. I'll dump it in here. Don't need that. I'm just make, putting them in these little filing cabinets to make it easier for me to find later on. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Another saw. You're not going to use a whole lot of saws. Even when you're building a lot. Ooh, a uh, crowbar. I'll need a crowbar to get in uh, some of these doors. Don't need to saw. Don't need to tape right now. I don't need a stupid bat. I'm just going to dump that stuff on the ground. Alright, we need to go back and get a uh, two more tires. And there should be two more tires back here. There should be one by a watchtower and then uh I can't pick this stuff. And another one actually where are kinda where I started. Bag. That's what I was looking for. More inventory slots. You can break most of these uh, chairs too, and they'll have some uh, uh, scrap and stuff on them. See if there's another axe here. All right, nothing I need here. So back in the woods I go. Eventually I'll need all of these uh, leaves and sticks and stuff, but I'll probably go to the White House and uh, collect them there because it's just a whole lot easier. They like spawn continuously there. A shotgun and a pistol. I don't know if that shotgun's always there. I don't remember the shotgun. I remember a pistol being there, but not a shotgun. I need to find a spark plug really bad. That's one thing. Eventually, you'll you'll find so many spark plugs, you'll be throwing them away in the trash because you'll have lockers full of them if you try to collect them all. I wish it did it for the engines. All right, where am I? Okay. There's usually several uh, um, places you can camp. Here's one. I barely I was able to see that little white dot straight in front of me. And I'm looking for those for uh, one. They have sticks and they have rope. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. An axe. I'm going to eat this. A can of fruit gives you both the uh, water and uh, food. Another bag. 
another saw. I'm just gonna leave it on the ground. I'm gonna chop this up. This will give me rope and should be sticks. And I'm just gonna put this stuff back here. I don't I don't need the sticks right now. I can find them later. I'm gonna keep my shotgun. Get the shotgun just in case. Put the pistol back there and I'll collect it later. Once you have the truck, you can just slap it full of all kinds of stuff. So I'm not really too concerned about the loot, you know, grabbing it. Oh, I need the fuel. Actually, I got four liters. I'll probably, that's probably the only fuel I'll worry about right now. Tire. All right, that should be three tires. Another knife. And another revolver. I don't know, my loot is like awesome. What's going on? Knife in there. Bottle of water. Let's move this. Oh, another bag. There's a can of soda I missed. Anything else up there? Soda in there. Each bag you get will increase your space by anywhere from two to three. I've only seen like one or two, three bags, but... Space in here? No. All right, there'll be another tire up here by this car. Some already some logs. I don't need them right now. This is a buildable car too, but you can't put a luggage or anything in the back of it, so I never bother with those till late in the game. Spark plug, nice. Alright, tire, tire. Oh, mist is coming. Oh. Actually, I'm just going to leave that on the road and I'm going to run back to uh, the White House. time is it? 1500. It's good to save off and I'm, I'm hardly saving it right now, but the, uh, when you first start out, you definitely want to save it anywhere where you're around any, anything dangerous, the, uh, bears or bandit camps, or if you're going to go try to take on a bandit camp, um, you definitely want to Save it. I I never revive myself. I always just load in a, an old save or something. 
it's not like gonna hurt you like detrimentally but you might lose a few things so I, just, I don't like losing anything once you play this game enough you'll understand where the uh, the dangers are and how to avoid them and then the game's pretty easy just starting out trying to learn everything is kind of a pain oh man what did I do with those other uh, oh there they are tire engine battery I might be stuck out here in the fog I'm running straight to the the White House. I'm not really going to fight him. Um, I'm probably going to go up into the... Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go into the, uh, the tower. And I'm probably going to sleep for two hours. And wait for the uh, infected to go away. So you just hit 7. And it'll bring up your sleep icon. And you just click down and tell it how many hours you want to sleep. So I'm going to sleep for 2 hours real quick to speed this up. And then the fog's gone. So now I'm safe. Uh, currently the... Uh, the music for the mist is gone. It used to have a sit different music when the the infected would actually spawn in. So, but now it's you don't have that. So you don't know exactly when these guys are going to come at you. So it's it's kind of crazy. So here we got day one and. We already got the stuff for a car. So I need some more sticks once I get this car done. Oops. I actually had an extra tire. Nice. And spark plug. And gas. Just fill, fill the tank. Alright, so now we have a working vehicle. You just get in it, hold E, or push the E, and that will start the engine. R will turn on your lights. Lights are good at night. You can use the, the vehicle to uh, give you lights. Alright, I need to build a drying rack. Which I need three more sticks. Nope, sticks on me. Alright, one thing about the White House is a lot of stuff likes to spawn. You know, like sticks and leaves and shit. They all spawn out here. So if you need sticks, leaves, or whatever, just keep going back and forth on this road. Or I could use a, uh, you know, start cutting down a tree, and that'll give me sticks and leaves as well. It'll also give me bark. Not much bark with an axe, but you will get some bark. You need bark to uh, start fires. But I'm basically just going to cut this tree down, get my uh, uh, drying rack going, and then I'm probably going to end up sleeping once it gets dark outside, just because uh, I'm, I'm in no position to be messing with all these uh, nighttime infected. So I'm just going to go ahead and sleep so I don't have to worry about them. So I'm just going to dump these logs. And then I'm going to go inside this building and uh, 
enclosed doors in this little shed. And the infected can't bother you. So I'm just going to build a drying rack real quick. Oh man, I can't do that yet. I need uh, to make three uh, more sticks. So that you go into your, your crafting and then make however many you need. Right now, I should be able to build a drying rack. You need this drying rack to. Can't even talk right now. You need this drying rack to uh, to uh, dry your guts, and then also you do the dried meat. If you look in uh, your crafting, you have this dry meat. You dry that meat, and then you have to actually uh, dry it on the drying rack. If you eat it without drying it here, you'll get a uh, food poisoning. And if you look, if you look at the uh, different things on it, it'll tell you how much it's dried. This will take several days to be able to dry, but you need these uh, these two to make a bow. So it's it's 19:30. I probably have 30, 40 minutes before uh, um, I got to really worry about the infected at night. So I'm just going to scrap some of the stuff around here. I normally don't start seeing the uh, night infected till 9.30ish, 10 o'clock. But I've heard people see it as early as 8.30. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time outside. I'm just going to dump this stuff in here so I can get it later. that don't really matter where I put it I'm just putting it in here I hope I have enough food and drink do I have any food and drink in here booze matches yes score I don't need this tire anymore right now. I'm kind of just throwing crap wherever. I'm going to need these uh, scraps and stuff to uh, be able to melt down so I can eventually make a uh, pickaxe. So I'll keep them on me. And I'm going to run up here into this watchtower and I'm going to go, go ahead and sleep till 5 o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning, you're safe to wake up and actually roam around. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit number seven again for me. And then I'm going to sleep for, what is it, eight o'clock? So like nine hours, something like that. And they'll wake you up the first time. So you just go back to sleep. Alright, so now you wake up. At 5 o'clock, you're good to roam around. The uh, Sometimes the night infected, uh, there might be a couple glitched out that'll stay alive. So just be careful, but for the most part, you're, uh, you're safe and sound. You can destroy this, all of the stuff around here, um, to get scrap and stuff from. But now we have our truck. And I think I'm going to uh, start again tomorrow so I don't get this video too long. But day one, we've got our our guts drying so we can make a bow. And we now have a vehicle. So that's, that's quite a bit for one day. Getting a vehicle on the first day is, is great if you, can, uh, if you can find all the stuff you need for it. And if you pretty much follow where I went today you're gonna you're gonna be able to get a vehicle on the first day just depending on the mist I guess if you have it's three hours instead of two hours in the mist that would that would probably slow you down but the truck is definitely a, a big bonus 
I've seen it spawn here at this White House, and I've seen it spawn in several other locations. So it's it's, it's kind of random where the actual truck spawns. So we'll start again tomorrow. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all later.